Okay, so now I'm inside of our functions.php file, inside of our own custom theme here. And what I'm going to do is just add some comments here to clean this up a little bit more. And we'll come back and clean it up even more later. But I'm just going to say register a custom primary navigation menu here so that we know. Remember, you can't comment enough. That's the rule of thumb. You should comment as much as you possibly can as long as it's concise and clear. Okay, so we've got that there. I'm also going to change this to say, instead of loading in style sheets, I'm just going to say scripts, because you can also load in JavaScript in here as well, not just CSS. Okay, so we've got that. And while we're in here, I want to do one more thing in this custom theme setup function. So we know we're injecting it at this point in the loading process of WordPress, as we just discussed. But I want to do one more thing. If you notice, our site title never actually got worked out. Uh, we talked about this when we were working in the index file, and we removed the title tags from in here. So if I hard code it and just say something like custom site with capital letters and save that, save this as well, go over here and refresh, you'll see there we go. Now it's changed. But how do we get that to show up dynamically? We can do that. And the way we do that now is like this. We go into our index file, and let's just remove that. That was just temporary. So make sure your index file looks exactly like this. And then we're going to go back over here to functions, and we add a line of code down here. And we're going to say add underscore theme underscore support. And then in here we say title dash tag. Just like that, add the semicolon. And then let's add a comment above it. We'll say add theme support for document title tag. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to save that now. And I'm going to go back over here and refresh. And there we go. Now we have this more kind of custom WordPress theme, and I'm going to show you where that's coming from. It's pretty cool. It's pulling that dynamically from the database, and we can edit it here in the admin section. Okay, so that's kind of the current best practice, and I had pointed this out when we were first building out this HTML in here in the head section a while back, that this is kind of a controversial thing right now, at the time of this video because they are changing things and they're kind of changing WordPress and that's how WordPress works. It updates over time and I want to arm you to think like a WordPress developer and the way to do that is to go in and read the documentation and you'll see what's changing and you'll kind of get a, a sense of the latest. Okay, so I'm going to give you more resources at the end of this course so you know where to look but for now just know that the titles are going through a change right now and so this is sort of a new feature as of uh, the time of this filming. Okay, so I'm going to save everything here and let me go over to the admin section now and show you where the site title comes from. If we go to settings, it's coming from right here. This is the site title and this is the tagline and those are the two things that show up right there in the browser and the reason why this is important is it's important for SEO purposes, search engine optimization. So Google, Yahoo, they'll be able to crawl your site and search and find you if the titles make sense or, and are very sensible with the page content that's inside your actual website. So just remember that as well. Okay, so let's head over back to our code now and go to the index.php file. That's inside of our theme. And we're going to add this navigation menu now. Before we do that, let's go over to the admin section. There's one more thing I needed to do. And we go under appearance and then menus. So menus is a sub-menu of appearance. Click on that. And we need to create our first menu. So just go over here and hit create menu. Okay, and now that we've created this menu, we can drag and drop all the different posts and pages that we want to add. You just kind of check them and then add them to the menu, and they'll show up here like that. I'm going to go ahead and remove those so that it's a little bit smaller for now. 
just home and sample page. And we'll change all of this later and, and have them link to whatever we want them to. But now that we've created a menu in this screen, we can go to this Manage Locations tab. Let me just make sure I hit Save Menu here. Go to Manage Locations. And you notice here there's this thing called Primary Menu. And we can grab the menu we just created on the other screen by clicking this and then hitting Save. So this primary menu, we added this when we registered over here in functions. Now, don't lose me here. I know that this is getting a little bit wonky, but what we did is when we set this line of code, what we said is in the admin section, we want to show up like this, primary menu. What we're doing with this chunk of code is we're saying we want to create a dynamic menu and we want to be able to control it in the admin section. And so we want to present it like this in the admin section and in our code we'll refer to it using the lowercase primary. Okay, so for example, if I were to just say add the number one there and save this file, go back to the admin section and refresh, you'll notice this will change. It says primary menu with a one after it now. Okay, so that's what's happening here. It's a little hard to understand at first if you're new to that. I'm going to go back and save this. But what we're doing is we're just giving it a name in the admin section right here. And then over here, this is how we're going to refer to it in our code right now. So let's do this. Follow me over to the index.php file. And our goal is to kind of change these nav links over here on the right to be dynamic and pull from this menu here, menu number one. And let's change this so that it makes a little more sense. We'll call it main navigation menu. Okay, so now if we save that, we've created a custom menu in here. We can add all the pages from our website that we want and even custom links. And you just kind of drag and drop them in here and you can even reorder them. And so now that we have that menu and you save it over here, we've assigned it to our code as primary menu. And now we can refer to it in our code. And that's what we're going to do over here. So I'm going to leave one of the links in there for reference, but here's how we inject the dynamic menu into our home page. We'll do it like this. So follow along. We'll add a block of PHP code here. So we'll say opening PHP tag, and then we'll do the closing one a few lines down, tab inward, and we'll say WP underscore nav underscore menu, and then array inside of parentheses, put another pair right in front of it, and break that out into multiple lines like that, add our semicolon. So now we're going to insert the contents of the array right here. So tab inward, and we're going to say this, and use single quotes this time. So theme underscore location equals, and then arrow, and we'll say primary. Menu class, line these up. We'll say primary underscore, or sorry, dash menu. Container. And we'll say false, and this time no quotation marks here for false. And pause the screen if you need to, if I'm typing too fast. Or you can speed up the video if I'm going too slow. And then this one's weird. So it's percent sign, and then three, dollar sign, and then a lowercase s. And no comma after this. Okay, so that's the entire structure right there. So this chunk of code is going to add the dynamic menu to our website. So I'm going to save that, go over here and pull up our website. And there, now we've got these dynamic links and those come from the admin section. When I go over to edit menus, I can drop in new pages as I create them. We only have a few pages right now, but I just add to menu like that. I pick them from the left, check them off, add to menu. I can customize the text. 
I can change the links if I want to do a custom link. You know, we could send it to Google. We could send it to whatever we wanted to. Different pages on our site. Save the menu. And now when I go over here and refresh, there we go. It's dummy proof. That means now our clients and our customers can easily just jump in and change things using this visual menu without having to write any code and it'll change it dynamically. That's the beauty of doing this with WordPress.